Good evening, everyone. This is Chris for the 365. Uh, this is day two of the Barbados trip. Uh, we did a lot of great stuff. I'll just kind of detail that out as you go. You'll see it all on the video that follows. Um, so the first thing we did this morning was we walked down to the uh, little local beach here. So all Barbados beaches are free and open. They're not, they can't be privately owned. So you can go to any beach that you want along the way, which is great so we walked down to the local beach right near uh, St. Alma's Church that's where we're close to and uh, so that's about a quarter mile walk down the way uh, I went there and swam with my mom and my kids and everybody it was a wonderful time uh, they have jet skis for rent down there there was a um, tourist boat that came in a big catamaran that came in that was carrying a bunch of tourists so I talked to some people there and got some advice on where uh, where to go for the next few days it was excellent um, then after that came back up here uh, went down to uh, back down to the highway one which is what we're near and there's a bus service that runs up and down all of Barbados it's two dollars and uh, there's three different kinds of buses I think I mentioned this yesterday um, there's the city buses then there's the reggae buses and the Z vans so we rode today we rode the um, reggae bus and we rode the um, city bus today so we took First in the morning, we went up Spitestown and to get some groceries and stuff at the local grocery store up there. And those are, those are really small. Those are you would consider more like a convenience store where we're from. So we got some supplies from there. Uh, talked to some great locals. Learned that um, breadfruit. We got a breadfruit and learned that we have to cook those. So we're going to try that tomorrow. Um, mangoes are that's that's another thing that's crazy here. Mangoes just grow on trees everywhere, like the oranges do in our area. You can just pick them anywhere. There's like tons on the ground. So we got some mangoes. Um, got some great fruit. Some uh, wonderful bread. A lot of good advice from all the people up there. A lot of laughter when I didn't know that you had to cook a breadfruit. That was always great. Um, then we came back here one more time and then uh, a few of us decided to take the um, bus down to uh, Oyston's Fish Market, which you'll, you'll see some uh, video of that too. That is this incredibly large, uh, well not a large fish market, good sized fish market, but there's a bunch of booths that have uh, different vendors there that they you can get uh, different kind of fish dishes and all kinds of local cuisine. We stopped there, we had breadfruit there. I'm on a breadfruit crest today apparently, but um, we had that there. Uh, the bus ride was long. It was 45 minutes, maybe an hour each way. Uh, so that was that ate up more time than we thought and then lastly once we got back from that uh, Which I can tell you after as we were going down the road or coming back to where we were supposed to be I wasn't so sure we were in the right place I thought perhaps we were going all the way to the north farther than where we should be and I wasn't too sure if we would ever get back to here so after that we went to just down the road uh, is a place called the Outback D.E. Outback and uh, uh, it has wonderful food we I had some conch there and had some uh, jerk pork uh, other people had like flying fish it was amazing the places uh, that's another thing I want to talk to you guys about here the businesses kind of pop up in the residential section so we walk down the road and you turn down this driveway and there's this place that has uh, this restaurant that is like the rainforest cafe for us only on a more local level but it's just past somebody's house it's really strange and then uh, Jefferson's we went to his was next to the convenience store yesterday and my mother and my aunt ate there tonight again and that place is just the same way it's his residence is in back and the convenience store is in front and then his restaurants right past it so that was awesome we all uh, are back it's about 10 o'clock here I'm getting ready to edit this video for all you guys um, I will tell you that um, the river totals today are pretty much what they were yesterday we're looking at about 5,000 cubic feet per minute out um, we're looking about the same in, and we're looking at the water being about 812 feet, I believe it was, or so. I looked at it a couple hours ago, so I'm not dead sure. Um, either way, though, that everything's going there. And I heard you guys, you guys had an incident at the Nelson uh, 
overpass near where I work near 25 County Center Drive that there was a person uh, that was threatening to hang themselves. I hope that that did not happen. I know that that diverted traffic a lot. So I'm with you guys in spirit. I'm still checking in on stuff as much as I can while we're while I'm over here. So tomorrow we're planning on doing an uh, excursion on a boat from a guy we met. We're freestyling it. That's what I like to call it here. This is all, this whole t trip has been freestyling. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to do an excursion. We're going to go and dive with the turtles and dive on a shipwreck. Should be really fun. I'm, or, shh, I'm hoping to fly the drone. I'm still not sure what the drone rules are in Barbados. I can't find any. So I'm going to try to fly it off the boat. I figured that that's a safer way to do it. I'm going to keep it. Uh, I'm going to follow all the FAA guidelines from back where we're at. Um, so I'm just going to keep it below 400 feet and just get some spectacular video of all of us on the boat in the coast of Barbados because I've gotten a bunch of Steadicam video and let me tell you that's all spectacular but I think from the air it's going to be amazing. So I hope to bring all that to you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following all of us here in Barbados. Uh, this is only day two. We have 16 days total so we got 14 more days here in Barbados and then um, on next Wednesday Day, we're going to go on a cruise to the Eastern Caribbean. So we'll detail all that for you as much as I can. Uh, the communications at, on the cruise ship will be sketchy. I already know that. So I may not it may be seven days before you hear from me on the cruise ship part. That's next Wednesday. It may be sooner. I might um, buy a couple days of internet so I can get some of uh, the reports out to you guys. But either way, uh, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye. Not right now. It is nice. Okay, I want That's crazy. All right, we're out on our morning walk today. And I thought we would get a quick view of the beach that's just about a five minute walk from our place on shutter. Look at that. The morning crew walking. Everybody wave. All right. Well, that is super cool. Awesome. Okay, let's go hit that. This is the fish market here. I don't actually see much fish marketing going on. I wonder if we're late or something. The water is ridiculous.
Oh. Some. This is a little lot area right near where we're staying. Hopefully by the time you see this, I'll figure out what the heck those are. I have no idea. I think those could be dates maybe? Seeds for palm trees? I don't know. And then this is just a little quick pan around the area of the town that we're at. And we almost get hit by, hit by a Barbados bus. And then this is St. Alma's Church right here. This is how the Barbados people seem to guide themselves from church to church. So when we have, whenever we want to know where we're at, we just tell them that we're near St. Alma's Church and they drop us off here so far. All right. We are near, after a harrowing 45 minute bus ride, we are near Oyston's Fish Market. Beautiful view here. Got a, some kind of container or working ship over there. I'm gonna pan back one more time. Kind of get the whole thing in. Amazing. Welcome to Barbados. I gotta stop saying amazing. I say that a lot. There you go, guys. First plane was cool. Second plane.
damn safe. There's your basic bus stop there. We wait there. Now there's three kinds of buses. There's the city buses, which is what we're on right now. There's the I'm gonna call them regular buses. Yeah, those are stables. Right back there. and purple. Outback. It's the Outback. The Outback. And the Iram Punch. It's so dark in here. Uh, eight. 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 Eight.